What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the coolest Raspberry Pi hats that I've ever come across. Well, to tell you the truth, this has been out for a while, but I kind of forgot about it. I finally got my hands on one, so I'm going to go ahead and do a review on it. This is known as the Pi Juice. And basically what this is, is a battery hat for the Raspberry Pi. This will fit the Pi A+, B+, 2B, 3B, and even the Raspberry Pi Zero as long as it's version 1.3 and the Raspberry Pi Zero W. So this is the base model of the Pi Juice. We have a 1,820 milliamp hour battery. This is an off the shelf LiPo, but it can be upgraded to a 5,000 or a 10,000. I've even seen a 12,000 on their website. They claim four to six hours of battery life with the included 1,800 milliamp hour battery, but you can get up to 24 hours with the 10,000 or the 12,000. This is a full uninterrupted power supply, which means if we want to charge the battery and power the Raspberry Pi, no problem at all. Just plug in your 2.5 amp power supply that you would normally use with your Raspberry Pi. It's going to power the Pi and charge the battery at the same exact time. I've actually powered the official 7 inch Raspberry Pi screen plus a Raspberry Pi 3B plus running RetroPie with this here for three hours. It actually works really well. And through the whole time of messing around with it, I didn't get one lightning bolt on screen. So we're definitely getting enough voltage and amperage here with this thing. It has an integrated real time clock, onboard intelligent on and off switch, low power deep sleep state, programmable multicolored RGB LEDs. There's two of them on here and there's three buttons. This thing is jam packed with features, so the best thing I can do is leave a link in the description of the Pi Supply so you can check out what this thing can do. Assembling the Pi Juice is fairly easy. It comes just like this out of the box. You will have to remove a little tab here that blocks the battery from making connections so it stays charged in transit. But that's about it. And this battery is replaceable. It's a Motorola BP7X. It's the same one that was used in the Droid 2, I believe. So you can find extended batteries up to 5,000 milliamp hour. We have full access to all the GPIO, and we also have this extra micro USB for charging this or powering the whole unit while the Pi is attached. And to put this all together, all you have to do is line up the male GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi with a female on the Pi Juice hat and put it down. It does come with four screws, so you can secure it to the board itself, but I'm not going to be using them in this video. And by the way, this will work out of the box. They do offer software that you can install, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But if you don't want to install anything, this will power the Pi straight out of the box. So I'm actually running a fresh install of Raspbian on this SD card. I'm going to show you how to install the Pi Juice software now. Before we get into it, I just want to show you how this looks set up. All I have plugged in is an HDMI cable and the Pi Juice hat, plus a little dongle for my keyboard and mouse. This is totally running on battery power right now. So I'm going to switch over to my game capture so I can get a better look at the screen and I'll show you how to install this software. All right, so like I said, software installation is very easy. I'm running Raspbian here. Uh, this is the Pi Supply website. You can head over to their GitHub, which will be located here. I'll leave a link for that in the description. There are two ways we can install this. We can have a GUI or GUI, or we can have no GUI at all. I prefer having the GUI. So I'm just going to open up a terminal, sudo apt git install pyjuice gui. The software is now installed, but we need to do a reboot, sudo reboot. So now that I have the software installed, I have a little battery icon up here. I'm at 81%. If I right click, I can go to settings. So from here, we have the battery level, the battery voltage, and the GPIO power input, 5.019 volts. This is not charging at the moment, but when I plug in my USB charger, it's now charging. As you can see, we have micro USB input is now present. Wake up alarm. We can set this to shut down and wake up the Pi at any time. System tasks. We have watchdog. System events on low charge. When the battery's low, we can have the system halt, power off, system off halt, or reboot. You can also program your own functions. Same thing with low battery voltage, no power, watchdog reset, you can also set up your own scripts. All the documentation is over on the Pi Juice GitHub. Link for that's in the description. So I'm going to go back to hat 
and configure hat. We have more settings here. We have some GPIO control from here. We have a run pin. Charging is enabled. I can turn this off and I won't be able to charge it through the micro USB. We can set the current limit to 1.5 amps to charge this battery or 2.5. Inputs, USB micro or five volt GPIO. So we can charge it from the GPIO if we wanted to. Like I mentioned, there's three buttons on this unit. We can set what the buttons do. Switch one, when we press, no function, but we can set it up, power on, power off, reset, halt, halt power off. There's a few other options here. Same thing with switch two and switch three. We can change the colors of the LEDs. So charging right now, this is showing blue. It actually flashes between green and blue. Choose color, we can change it from here. Same thing with the other LEDs. Battery, we're using that BP6X. I'm actually on the 7X, so I wanna change this here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Out of the box, it was set to 6X, but now it knows I'm using that 1800 milliamp hour battery. You can set custom parameters here. Just in case you get one of those extended life batteries that I was talking about, we can set the milliamp hour all the way up as high as we wanna go, but make sure it matches your battery's milliamp hour output. We have some IO and firmware, so we can update the firmware if there's an update present. I'm on 1.3 right now. So overall, this is a really awesome little setup and I'm still charging. I'm at 83%. You can see that little icon right there has a little plug on it. I'm gonna unplug it. And that was uninterrupted. I'm now using just battery power. If I plug my USB back in to charge, it'll show me that it's charging. So yeah, that's the Pi Juice hat. This is really easy to use. It is one of the best hats that I've ever messed around with on the Raspberry Pi. And there's tons of different projects that I'm really interested in using with this. For instance, building an off the grid, solar rechargeable Raspberry Pi computer or retro gaming console. I actually have a nice little solar panel around here somewhere. I've been searching for it. Need a little time to find it. I think it's out in the garage. It's made by Aki. It's a 14 watt solar panel with a built in 10,000 milliamp hour battery. If I pair that panel with the Pi Juice and the official Raspberry Pi screen, I could run this thing indefinitely as long as I have enough time to charge it during the day. It would run for 24 hours on what I have here, but I do need sunlight to keep everything charged. But before I get to the solar portion of everything, this just works with the Pi Juice hat, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with RetroPie installed on an SD card, and the official 7-inch Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Now, I really wish I would have got one of these earlier, but they're on sale for about $64 on Amazon, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick one up, and this screen is amazing. It works straight through the display ribbon cable on the Raspberry Pi, and it works out of the box with Raspbian and RetroPie. Unfortunately, RetroPie does not support touch, so I didn't even worry about trying to install a driver or anything like that, but you can use this as a non-touch display, and it looks great. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I got three hours of runtime out of this using the screen, a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and RetroPie with the Pi Juice hat. They also make really nice cases for this screen here, and I ordered a bamboo one on Amazon, but it won't be here for a week. I am planning on doing a full tutorial on this because I think this is super simple and it's pretty awesome. There's no soldering required whatsoever to build a nice little 7-inch portable retro console using the official Raspberry Pi 7-inch screen a Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B Plus, and the Pi Juice hat. Of course, you could always use a portable USB power bank for this, but I kind of like using that Pi Juice hat. It just sits right on top of the Pi and it keeps everything really compact. I mean, as compact as you can get with a Raspberry Pi sticking out of the back of a screen. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in picking up one of these Pi Juice hats or the official Raspberry Pi screen, I'm gonna leave links in the description. I will have another video coming up on a full tutorial very shortly. I'll go through setting the screen up with the Raspberry Pi and the Pi Juice hat and installing the software. If you have any questions or ideas for projects using the Raspberry Pi and the Pi Juice hat, let me know in the comments below. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, but like always, thanks for watching.